Hi. Today I'm going to share my top 10 reflections on how uh, room sound and uh, and reverb can help you in your uh, guitar recordings. Uh, I often get uh, questions on how I record my guitars because uh, there, there's lots of room sound, both, both room mic and also reverbs uh, that I'm using to, to, to make the th make it sound bigger and, and, and more complex. So, let's go. I usually don't use uh, a room mic uh, to, uh, you know, for, for special definition or, or to, uh, to put uh, uh, the, uh, the sound source, in this case a guitar, somewhere in a stereo image or to place it in the room. The primary reason why I'm using it is, is to make it sound bigger. Uh, and that is to add more content in, in, the, in the lower mids, especially. And uh, I, I want it to be like, like uh, a component compared to the direct signal you get with a closed mic. I want, it to, I want there to be some space in between, so, so you really can... So, so it's kind of two sounds. Uh, that, that, uh, it's the same sound, of course, but, but uh, the, it's a space in between the... Uh, uh, the top end and, and this mid component and, and the very low mids, uh, very lows of, of, of the direct signal. Uh, now, now the, uh, the, the room mic is, 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 of course, you know, it's an artifact of the room or, or you know, whatever it is that differs from the closed signal is an artifact of the room due to standing waves and so on. So, so it's not as punchy and dynamic, you know, that, that there is no... Uh, content there it's content bounced, bounced against the walls so 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 therefore it's i i, I pan it uh, and the reason i pan it is it's not primarily to to, to uh, again to not primarily to get the 3d or a special definition it is because that 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 signal uh, may uh, drown out uh, the direct signal and and i want to have have the cake and eat it I, I want to be able to listen to the direct signal because th that's th that's where the dynamics and the content is, and then I want the room sound. So so, so I, also, so if you listen to it in stereo, you, you can hear the room here. So so you have that in your mind, and and the close mic I I, I uh, all have almost centered. So you have the room over here, and you you have the 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 close mic slightly panned to the left, and then you can have the cake and eat it. When we're discussing room mics and, and, and uh, you know, really capturing the room, uh, Jimmy Page is a producer uh, and musician that comes to mind. Uh, he really, really captured uh, the, the, the rooms where, where Zeppelin uh, recorded, I, I think. And, and his, you know, a quote by him, a famous quote, distance makes depth, uh, is, is really interesting because it was, it's, it's, it's really true. But, but it, uh, you may have heard another quote, and, the, and this quote is by uh, John Cleese. It's not a quote; I'm paraphrasing. But, but he said that if, if you have if you have uh, any, you know, play going on in in an image like in a screen like this or frame, and you zoom out, you back off 20 meters, then it's instant comedy. It's, it's it becomes instant funny more vulnerable in, 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 in some way and, or in, in, in that sense. Uh, so so it's, I, I think that's uh, a challenge with, 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 <laughs> with, with using uh, uh, room mics because you kind of zoom out. I, 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 I try to hold back on, on, uh, on you know, reverb and, and plugins and, and so on. It, it's a very, you know, intrusive and, and, and uh, dominant effect that, that, that kind of changes the uh, uh, vibe a lot. Uh, you know, it, I, I often see people that, that has, has invested in amazing mic, amazing uh, mic preamp, an amazing compressor and the entire chain and they record something. And then they still put, put some generic uh, reverb on it you know, sprinkle that top end all, all over the the, 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 the the sound that you have painstakingly, you know, optimized. Uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of like go going to a gourmet restaurant and, and ask the chef to, uh, to, to put the Coke as, as, as gravy on your, 
on your mail. Uh, just then, then you can just go for the coke in, instead. I, I think it's and I've, I've made that mistake sometimes uh, myself. When I use two guitars uh, in a mix, I, I usually don't use the the room mic. It's it's mostly for one for one guitar because you know if you have if you have two guitars, one one is just close mic'd and one is is a bit more distant mic'd. I I, I, I you really get the sense of the room anyway. Uh, so to me, uh, you know, room miking is 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 mostly mostly when when you showcase showcase one guitar. You know, most rooms that isn't specifically designed for recordings are, are not that pleasing. You know, so so you may be better off with 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 just the uh, uh, the close mic there. Uh, but but uh, there there are some ways to uh, to uh, deal with it. You know, you have EQ matching. If if you uh, if you record your amp in a really good room or in a studio, and then you can uh, compare that signal to the signal that you record in, in the room that's available to you, and the, and then match it. Uh, but, but this this could be taken further, and uh, maybe there are such apps today. You know, you could you could uh, for a given position, you could record the room sound, and th then the, uh, the EQ matching algorithms could match it or, or could compare it to the uh, your perfect sound you could move it around and, and and the app could tell you now now you are as close as this room allows to to the sound that you like um, and then on top of that you could you could do the rest of the eq matching to to get the sound that you really like you know in in uh, in videos where artists and 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 their producers uh you know they they you know, in those isolated uh, tracks videos that, that, that you, you, you can see many of uh, on, on YouTube, you know, the, uh, the artist and, and the uh, producer is, is at the console and they go through the, all the tracks and, uh, and isolate them and discuss them. Uh, what strikes me when I watch those videos is that the, uh, you know, the individual guitars doesn't sound that, it's, it's not that impressive. You, you think, how, how can that be? How can that sound that big uh, and, and good in the mix? Uh, that, that, that's not what I would have, uh, you know, aimed for if, when, when listening to the entire track. I, I think that's it's easy to be fooled there to, to try to make things sound bigger than needed, because because it's uh, great tones are always relative to the rest of the mix. You know, the, the other guitar may, may may make up for what you lack, and if you do have that component that the other guitar has also it, it's, it's not going to sound like the same organism you know so so uh, I, I think that's uh, um, that's a common mistake to make to try to make everything sound big you know compared to the close mic the the the, the room mic is uh, doesn't have the dynamic content uh, but but you can kind of enhance it a bit uh, uh, for for instance, you can uh, you can put uh, if you have the the uh, room mic on some channel, you could pan that a bit right, for instance, and then you can put a reverb on it. Uh, but you could put the limiter after the reverb, so so the and 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 um, play with times and so on to to make it sound like like the room is breathing in some way. You get you get, you get some flow from left to right. That that that, that can sound really cool. Another, another way. To, to have that to play with the uh, uh, left to right spectrum is, is when you have a close mic and a room mic and and you, uh, you once again you, you have a compressor or, or a limiter on the room mic uh, so, so when you play really hard the uh, the, the close mic is, is going to sound a bit more than the room mic uh, but but when you play softer, the compressor or, or limiter on the room mic is, is, is going to lift that uh, instead. And if you have that uh, panned all the way it, 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 here, it, it's going to, you know, hard, then, then it's going to be left. And uh, and then you, if you play a bit, a bit softer, then it's going to go right. You could use that to to, uh, to for interesting effects. I, I usually do that at any rate. 
and this one may may be trivial to many of you, but but it, it's it's I think it's a very important thing, and it's about about how you, you know, how the riffs and and the music is is written. If if you play uh, you know full speed and, and and there is there is no holes, there, there is no uh, you're not going to hear the reverb. And and uh, so you have to, if you want to hear it, you have to have lots of reverb and uh, and and uh, I, I think. It, to, to me, it's, it's, it's better with some holes in the music so the reverb can pop up there. Because, you know, if you hear that once in a while, you're going to have a mental image of the room without having to have too much uh, reverb in, in, in the song. Uh, I, I think that's a, a quite an, an, an important trick. And, and provided that that, that, uh, that is the artistic expression you want with, with some spaces, because, you know, Full speed ahead, it, 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 an entire track is, is some is also cool, but it's it's uh, it it uh, it has its compromises. The reason why I use very little reverb is is uh, because I want to have the end of the notes. You know, if you play something and and you stop playing, the, the information is when when the tone. You know, it's the transient and it's also the where where where, where the tone ends. And and so so you get lots of a lot more information by that. If if you have reverb that 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 kind of uh, covers the end of the note, it it, it uh, sometimes you could use that if if you're not playing tight. Um, but but uh, I, I I think uh, and, and 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 this is one of the reasons why why I pan the room and pan the reverb because I want to have a, a dry signal somewhere so so you can hear the end of the note. As, as well, I think that's that, that that's uh, uh, can easily be forgotten. Another thing, where, when it comes to today's, you know, uh, uh, that there are lots of uh, uh, support for musicians today, in terms of uh, you know tools for for recording and for for effects and, and for lots of other things, uh, but you know the. Uh, uh, every, everything that you know, engineering thing, you know, the uh, stuff that are, are engineered kind of leaves traces, you know, it, it kind of creates this, uh, uh, you know, like a matrix. Uh, th th there, are, there are always traces. If you try to be too clever using technology, it's, it's going to leave some kind of, you know, d digital footprint on it. So, so that's that's why it's it, it can be good to just be you know uh, to try to add as much chaos as as you can to if you if you work with the digital things uh, so so it, it can pay off to do do as many things as possible by hand. All right, that that was my uh, my, my ten uh, reflections on on uh, room sound and and uh, reverb. Uh, I, I, I'd love to hear what you think. M maybe you could write uh, and, and refer to my, my ten, 10 bullets here and, and, and tell me, if, you know, if, if, is, is there something where I'm, where I'm wrong or is there something where, where you, have, uh, you do things differently or something that you, uh, you, you, you want to add? I'd, I'd, I'd love to hear that. Cheers. <laughs>